Hello, Gemini. Welcome to a love reading all about what your person is currently thinking, feeling about you, and what are their intentions for the near future, uh, their intentions towards you or this connection. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's get started for Gemini. Spirit Angels. What messages, what guidance do you have for Gemini regarding the person they are thinking about, connecting with at this time, Spirit? What are their energies towards Gemini at this time? What are this person's energies towards Gemini at this time? What do we need to know about their energy? Let's see. Death, Scorpio energy, Three of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Well, right away I'm thinking there's might be a third person, uh, another person that is interfering or involved in this situation between you and this person. Um, this is your person's energies towards you, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and they're thinking about an ending <clears throat> with death here. And then they're also thinking about this Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Now, I need to clarify to double check, but this Three of Cups could symbolize a reunion, a coming together. And this Three of Pentacles could be about working things out, working together. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So uh, a lot of thinking or a lot of reflecting, but not necessarily any action or communication taking place here with the Four of Swords. Hmm. So let's get some clarity. Tell me about death. Spirit, why is death... Okay, that wanted to come out. The moon, Pisces energy. Why is death here? What can you tell me about death? Ten of Wands. Okay, when I see a card like the Ten of Wands with a card like the moon... I think of uh, a lot being buried underneath or buried deep. This could be someone's emotions, fears, doubts. Um, I feel like they're burying these fears or doubts, but then uh, this is clarifying death. Can I get one more for your death? One more please for death. The chariot, okay. And the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We have cancer energy with the chariot. You could be dealing with a water sign, someone with water in their chart. Um, okay, Gemini. I feel like this person, they're when they think about you, they're thinking about a change and ending that they would take that would take place in their life that would allow them to move forward here, to go after this opportunity with the ace of pentacles. Yeah, two of wands. There's a choice involved. It's like this person has to choose the path they want to be on or make a certain decision that would put them on a path that would lead to something different or to lead to an opportunity. I feel like this person, the energy I'm getting, I heard, I tried. I feel like this person, Gemini, tried to bear whatever their circumstance was at the time. Whatever is going on with them in their own personal life, I think they try to bear it. Um, maybe they try to avoid this ending because the Ten of Wands is someone that's been carrying something for some time. Maybe they hid, you know, these doubts, these fears, these feelings because they were just thinking, I'm just going to bear with the situation that I find myself in now. But the cherry is telling me that that's changing. The death card is telling me this is leading to some sort of change. Maybe they need to do like a physical move with the chariot. Tell me about the three of cups. Why is the three of cups here? Why is the three of cups here? The wheel of fortune. Why is the three of cups here? For Gemini. Wow, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Getting a lot of major arcanas. Tell me about the Three of Cups. 
What do I need to now, Spirit, about this Three of Cups? Page of Swords. And then the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think someone wants to... I feel like there's a reunion happening in Divine Timing, first of all. Or at the right time. Or there's some sort of um, third-party situation that someone's hoping will change. Um, your person could be married, Gemini. Or you could be married. Um, or in a long-term commitment. I feel like someone's going to tell you that they've left something behind with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Or this is what they would like to do, is tell you this. Um, the Two of Swords is after that, though. So I don't want to get, like, my hopes up and say that this is happening, you know, one step after the other. I feel like the Two of Wands and now the Two of Swords... And Geminis, you keep having this reading where your person has a choice to make. And this is like a choice that has been in front of them for a long time. I feel like this divine reunion or this destined meeting that you have with this person, it keeps getting blocked. Because it requires both of your participations or it requires a departure that hasn't happened yet. I mean, it's just a common... Uh, repeated message that uh, I have here for the collective. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Thank goodness. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. The King of Wands is a doer. Uh, they're bold. They are willing to go after what they want. Willing to take risks for what they want. The King of Swords, okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy, and then we have the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's something here that's a block, Gemini, and I'm not going to sit here and like try to spin it in a positive way. Um, I am not that type of reader, no shade, but I just, I'm going to tell you what I see, what I feel, and I feel like there's a block here that even though your person's thinking of the action they want to take, of what they might want to say, King of Wands, King of Swords, there's this Five of Pentacles, there's this Nine of Wands, there's this Ten of Wands, and this concept of an ending, right? So it's not so simple as me saying, oh yeah, they're just leaving the third party, they're coming towards you, they're going to be, you know, ending whatever needs to be ended, and then everything will be fine. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. I feel like this is just like the, this is just the thing that needs to be overcome. The Nine of Wands is somebody that's been through a lot. Um, they're not giving up though. I mean, I, I'm not trying to say this is a, like a negative reading by any means. I just want to measure your, or temper your expectations. Um, I feel like this person is thinking about what they truly want, what would make them happy. Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. I think they would be very happy to make a move or say something. Page of Swords, I'm going to cl clarify that in a second. Um, and I'm going to clarify this chariot because I feel like this is like what they they d really want to do. But this person is going through a lot or has gone through a lot, Gemini, with the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. And I feel like... If they've wanted to end something, it's taking time. I don't know. I just get this this energy of something taking time. Tell me about the chariot. What is this chariot about for Gemini? Why is the chariot here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is about moving quickly. Moving quickly towards a new direction or a direction that leads to success. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they want to talk to you about this new beginning, this new start. There's a Page of Cups. I think this person, Gemini, the, the next thing that's going to happen between you and this person, and your person's thinking about it right now, is I'm almost out of my situation and it's time to reach out to Gemini. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. You see what I'm saying? And then the Nine of Cups. It's almost like they just have to wait a little bit longer to get what they want. Or they're waiting for some sort of result. Or they're waiting for something to be fixed with money. 
or they have to wait a little longer before they get their wish. That's the energy that I've, I've, I'm sensing and I'm trying to warn you about a little bit because I know Geminis ha are sick and tired of hearing that they have to be patient. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's just the message. The message is the message. I'm just the messenger. Um, let's get some insight into this person's energy. Spirit, can you give me some more insight into this person's energy, this person? A Gemini is has or will be dealing with. And I do feel this is a destined reunion. Like this is something that's meant to happen. You are meant to be with this person, Gemini. And for some reason that I don't understand, <laughs> and probably nobody understands, right? Is for some reason this connection was supposed to go through some sort of hardship or difficulty, challenge, etc. It's like you were meant to be put through the ringer with this particular connection. Because everything that's happening, I feel, maybe even happened before in a past life. Tell me about this person's energies towards Gemini. Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a distance or disconnect between you. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Gemini. I feel like this person, um, yeah, Bountiful Harvest. I feel like a, for a lot of you, this person has to separate from someone else. And for others of you, this person is just thinking of the separation and how they don't want to be apart from you any longer. Um, this person, whether they're in the first boat or the second boat, don't matter. They're thinking about something new, growing something new, investing in something that will lead to abundance with Bountiful Harvest. And bottom of the deck is wishing well. So this is like that Nine of Cups energy. They have a wish, a desire, and it's going to be granted. It's just they had to pay a price, whoever this is. It's not free. Can I get some more insight into what this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to Gemini? What is this person thinking, feeling spirit when it comes to Gemini? Okay. I'm really struggling. Yes. I know. We know. This isn't easy for this person. Um what else okay at night i think of you yeah so they're it's not over you know and, and but the thing is like for some reason i don't know maybe this is a karmic debt like really i'm i'm trying to think that there's something here that's like a price had to be paid i'm taking a risk bottom of the deck here let me get a hidden truth oracle as well And for some reason, you, I was going to, I didn't finish my thought there, but I was going to say, it's like there's a karmic debt to be paid here, Gemini, and you've gotten wrapped up in it. You know, even if this is not your debt to pay, does that make sense? You're kind of still having to kind of be affected by this. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? What else do we need to know about this person's energy? I love you. Emotions are real here. I feel like um, you still feel their energy in a way. Let me know if that's the case in the comments, Gemini, because I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I just get the sense that uh, this might be like a soulmate or some someone like that. And, you know, I'm picturing like the telephone, you know how that game that kids play where they create two cups with a string and then you, you kind of like talk to each other with like this telephone that's really not a telephone. Um, it's like a 5D telephone or something like that. <laughs> um, bottom of the deck, I wish I had treated you better. Okay, so let's jump into this person's intentions for the future. Because I can tell you, the current energy is they're thinking about getting out, a departure, an ending, um, and most likely 
a reunion or a conversation they have with you about coming together is also on their mind. Spirit. What are this person's intentions for the future with Gemini? What are this person's intentions for the future? Next possible actions or intentions for the near future with Gemini. And Gemini, I'm going to be extending this reading. I'm only doing this for some of the signs. Um, we're going to look at the potential outcome for your connection overall. And if there is a challenge or obstacle, you know, what's the advice for that challenge or obstacle? And what do you need to know about where your connection is headed? That's kind of the uh, main energy we're going to be diving into in the extended. So if this resonates for you, the extended will be linked in the description box. What are this person's intentions for the near future with Gemini? Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles. My goodness, Gemini, you know, <laughs> what's the overall energy? Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, the Hermit, Virgo energy. What is it with Gemini's and Virgos? And the Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, what's behind that? Knight of Wands. Okay, um, this person's thinking about what to tell you, what to do. Which again, this is why I'm telling you that patience is needed, Gemini. You know, don't don't shoot me, don't shoot the messenger. Um, but I just get this energy of someone that's still figuring out exactly how to do this. And if they're a Virgo, my goodness, they're gonna just be thinking and thinking and planning and planning over and over and over and over. <laughs> you know, like Virgos are very detail oriented people, risk averse. You know. Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight of the deck. You know, the Ace of Swords is kind of telling me that communication is probably going to happen first before any sort of action backs it up. So, and this Queen of Pentacles, if your person is married, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is tied to this Seven of Swords for some reason. But their intentions overall, I think it's this Ten of Cups. I think that their intention is Ten of Cups, and I'm thinking about the Bountiful Harvest card they're thinking about the distant future, happiness with you in the distant future. It's going to be worth all of this in their mind. But, you know, the Two of Pentacles is the one that's making me like roll my eyes a little bit. Because the Two of, of Pentacles, for me as a reader, it comes after like the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is someone that really can't decide. The Two of Pentacles is someone that's still going back and forth. But they know a decision has to be made, right? Um, the two of wands is the one where it's like both decisions have potential. So someone's really trying to figure out the best decision for them. Okay. So the two of pentacles is like the most infuriating for me because it's like someone really doesn't know. <laughs> and it's like a seesaw. There's always like, and, and also the two of pentacles for me is like someone that one day they wake up and they're like, I'm going to do it today. And then it doesn't happen. So the next day they wake up and like, ah, yesterday was not good. I'm not even going to try today. And then the next day they wake up and like, I'm going to do it today, you know? <laughs> so let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? I'm not even blanking at the Seven of Swords. I'll see if I'm right about that. But tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Justice, Libra energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Huh. And the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this is the other person. There's the Six of Swords. I feel like the other person, um, there might be a divorce or a separation. Or, you know, this is like a matriarch of the family or a female figure in their life that... Or a feminine, I guess I should say. A feminine figure in their life that has a lot of hold on them or, you know, a tie, a bond, an attachment. I feel like this person is going to be leaving that behind. Six of Swords. And I feel like there's some sort of contract that frees them or some sort of official decision, some sort of like, I don't know, legal decision or, you know, it's like a official building, official capacity, etc. Something being signed. Now, the Seven of Swords, I feel like this person is, you know, 
they're not gonna be very popular after this. Let me just put it that way. I'm also getting, this is a very strategic move on their part. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. I really hope this Two of Pentacles is like them deciding if they should talk to you first or take action or make a bold move because that would make me at least calm down a little bit. <laughs> Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, okay. Four of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm getting this message of like not coming on too strong. The Empress. Okay, Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles, and the Magician. Wow, okay. So I feel like this is about what they want to do, their approach towards you. I think this person is going to come ver come on very strong. Like, I feel like they're going to be like, Gemini, it's been a while. I know this is going to sound shocking to you, but you're the only person I ever want to be with forever. Please marry me, or something. <laughs> something like, you know, or... If you reject me, Gemini, that's fine. I will never be with any other person again. You know, you are it for me. That kind of energy. Um, and I feel like they're going to also tell you, hey, it's over. That whole situation's over. And I'm able to put 100% of my energy into you, into this connection. Um, whatever it is that you want, I will make it happen. I will make this connection happen. There's the Emperor. Aries energy, in case you wanted just a little bit more confirmation about the energy I'm picking up here for this person. The Emperor, the Empress, divine counterpart, div like if I could talk, divine counterparts. Um, I mean, I really do feel like this person is just going to be like very intense, very intense, Gemini. And it's going to be like, what did it, what is it that you want? Yeah, the King of Swords after that. Whatever you want, Gemini, I will give it to you. I will be the partner that you deserve this whole time. That kind of energy. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be what you are into. <laughs> I feel like some of you are going to be like, yes, I felt that way too. And others of you are going to be like, you've been through a lot. You need to like relax, you know? Um, it could go either way. Can I get one for this 10 of cups? But I think this person questions this. Like, that's why the Two of Pentacles is here. Because I think in their mind, they don't want to scare you off, right? They don't want to... It's it's like they don't want... The first impression is very important. Or, like, the first contact is very important. And so they really are overthinking this, to be honest with you. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Okay. Now we just, like... Strength, Leo energy, there's the Two of Swords, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this Two of Swords, and this Two of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Cups after that. It's very interesting. Uh, this Two of Swords is almost like, I, I sense that this is somebody that... Okay, this is somebody that's trying not to let their emotions get away from them or um, they don't want to get carried away by their emotions. That's the phrase. They don't want to get carried away by their emotions. Okay. Tell me about this too. Okay, there's King of Cups, Ten of Wands. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Yeah, this person, they, they are tapped into their emotions, but they're not, they don't want to be swayed by their emotions because I think that hurt them in the past. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay. So the Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands shows up again because again, Gemini, this is important. Oh man, I'm going to have to cut this reading short because otherwise I could be talking here forever. Um, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, they're still dealing with, okay. Emotionally, this person is very, is struggling a lot. I guess I should say that much. And this person, they need to really process this, you know, because if they're not completely done or healed or or have dealt with this enough, um, it will cause problems. And this person, for some reason, they're thinking about this when it comes to their future. They, they really don't want to mess anything up with you. And so 
I, I just get the sense that this is about control over anything, especially when you see these two energies, Strength and Four of Pentacles. It's almost like they're guarding themselves or slowing themselves down or preventing themselves from making stupid decisions um, and, and, and letting their emotions, like I say, to carry the, God, you know what I meant. I don't know what this is about because I feel like the tarot cannot give me the specific card for, like there's no tarot card for like financial bankruptcy or something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or there's no tarot card for like mental illness or um, speaking to a counselor, right? You know what I mean? So from what I see here though is that this person's thinking about what they've been through and for some reason, that plays a part in the future they see with you. That's all you need to know. And it, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, you know, obviously your person, for all the Geminis that I'm talking to, your person has gone through different things, you know. But I feel like what's happening here is almost like this Two of Swords with the Nine of Wands. You know, it, it's almost like they've made stupid decisions in the past and they don't want that to happen again. And they don't want to be emotionally vulnerable so that they make stupid decisions again. I hope that makes sense. Let me get one more and then I will wrap this up. Let me get one more energy for Gemini. The person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with spirit. What are their energies towards Gemini? What are their energies? Let me get a seller soulmate. What are their energies towards Gemini spirit? What are their energies towards? I have learned from my mistakes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just kind of trying to say, but couldn't, you know? And then bottom of the deck, I wish I could tell you how I feel. Yeah, okay, once again, I'm getting that message of they don't wanna scare you off. So I think they'll tell you everything that has happened, but it's like the Cliff's Notes version because there's a lot of emotional turmoil that this person is still kind of like, and they're even thinking when this is all over and I can finally rest, I'm worried that I'm gonna be also in a vulnerable state. What's behind this? I'm just curious. I dream of a future with you. Yeah, they're thinking about the future when they think about this, right? For some reason, the mistakes they've made in the past, they don't want to repeat because then it will, it's like it would ruin the future that they could have with you. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up here.